even though this is broadly bipartisan, um, uh, you know, it, it has taken too long. I hope we will get started work on this um, literally as the, as the Congress goes into recess. This is one of my top priorities to get done as soon as possible. Critically important for national security, critically important for jobs, critically important for inflation, and I believe critically important uh, for Virginia. Now, of the $52 billion, what, um, you know, what are the opportunities for Virginia to come out of this? The National Semiconductor kind of research component will be a center uh, that will be located somewhere in our country uh, for research. We have a huge amount of world-class universities and other research facilities already in Virginia where this could be co-located or we could create a, a new center and Virginia would be a great, great location. Secondly, there's the so-called national packaging. What does packaging mean? Well, once you make the semiconductor, make the little chip, how it gets put together is, is the so-called packaging component. Um, that's another center that, uh, again, with whether it's tech or UVA or VCU or ODU, we've got huge expertise and component. We think that could be located. The third is the, the idea of uh, there will be increased requirements for the so-called equipment manufacturers. We think about the semiconductor fabrication facilities, the big factories, like the way Intel announced in Ohio. But you know, one of the most important components of those factories are the very sophisticated equipment that actually produces the semiconductors. Um, there's money in this for increased research in that area. Right now, there are two American companies, one Dutch company, one Japanese company that basically controls that market. We've got to make sure we control, continue to control that market, and there could be a manufacturing facility as well that uh, Virginia could go after. And then, finally, the, the focus where most people have been, there's going to be 10 to 12 semiconductor factories fabrication facilities that will be located in America out of this legislation. I believe that Virginia should be very competitive um, for one of those facilities. Uh, these facilities will sometimes take over a thousand acres. So we've, we've got to make sure, and I'm working with the VEDP to make sure that we've got sites that are ready to go. Uh, so as these um, uh, companies make these decisions, over the coming months and years, some of this will spend out over literally three to five years uh, that we can be competitive. This is an area where uh, we've had a history, as you know, Michael, we've, we had a, have a facility in Northern Virginia. We had a facility uh, that under Governor Allen uh, was announced back in the 90s. And when I was governor, we upgraded it. It was up in Henrico, uh, but the, the semiconductor industry goes up and down. And that facility, unfortunately, fell a little bit behind. It, it shuttered. There could be a possibility of that could be reopened, or there's a variety of other sites around the Commonwealth where we can be very competitive. Sorry again for going on so long, but this is a really, really important item. Last point I also want to make that I'm not sure the letter fully made is that we focus on the semiconductor component. With this bill, which we keep changing its name, the so-called Competes Act, there are also going to be a series of tech hubs and some of those tech hubs um, need to be in rural communities. And I know we've got very active efforts in both Southside and Southwest to seeing if one of those tech hubs uh, we can't be competitive with as well.